Hello. Hey, how's it going? Morning, afternoon. Still morning, barely, barely. Lord of time, maybe. I guess I'll start Owen. This defensive line group. I mean, maybe some guys getting a chance for bigger roles. What are you seeing out of this group? Uh, I see a lot of guys that are hungry. A lot of guys that um, are in pursuit of chasing this Big Ten championship. And, you know, a lot of togetherness within the whole group. What are your goals for this season? When we talked to Lovey, he said, you know, maybe there were some chances last year, opportunities that you didn't capitalize on. What, what do you want to do this year? Um, I definitely want to capitalize. Me and Coach Smith, we went back and watched all the plays that I missed. And we looked at some of the plays that I made, and I want to capitalize on all the plays I missed, and then some this year. So I really don't have any personal goals. I just want to take it week by week and uh, get a, a win every week. When did you guys watch that tape? Was it recently, or was it after the season ended? Or uh, I want to say it was pre pre Corona, so around around February March. Was it, I mean, was it an eye-opening thing? Like, did you know there were some of those plays? Or, I mean, did, did, did you kind of realize when you were watching the film? Kind of a little bit of both. I noticed it um, in the in the season, but, you know, you know, they tell us on to the next, you know, have a short-term memory. But when you really get to sit back and reflect and time slows down in the football aspect, when you're not playing the next week or you don't have to prep for another team, you really, re, you really evaluate yourself and say, what can I did here? What could I have done better? My last thing is how helpful was that film session between you two? I mean, did it give you confidence moving forward and, and you know, having those in front of you? Definitely gave me confidence in my ability and how I just need to finish plays out. And definitely I belong. I can play in the Big Ten. I am a starter. I think I am going to be very good this year. Thanks, Owen. No problem. Thank you. Good morning, Owen. Thanks for doing this. Uh, I guess the First question I really have relates to you and Isaiah Gay, both being a little bit of an older guy. What's your biggest advice to some of these younger pass rushers like Keith Randolph or Seth Coleman now that you've been in their shoes and you know what it's going to take for them to be successful? Um, every day I just tell them that this is not last year. I'll tell them they're not red shirting, that we are dependent on them, and their mindset has to completely change from what they were thinking last year and that they are going to get in the game and plays are going to be expected to be made by them. What's the process? I mean, I'm sure you had to do the same thing at some point in your career of flipping your mindset from, I need to make big plays and big moments, and I'm going to be expected to do that. How difficult is that to do for some players? It's very difficult um, because it, you only can prepare for it as much as many times as you get out there. So you just gain that with experience and game speed and under the lights. But probably for them, it'll probably be a little bit more easier because of it being 2020 and it's not going to be 20,000 fans, 15,000 fans. They probably, the nerves probably would be a little bit more calmer. You know, for me, I had, sometimes I had butterflies in my freshman year. So it's probably going to be a little easier on them. Last thing I've got, now that you're in your final season or senior season, I guess I shouldn't say final season with the possibility that you could come back next <laughs> season. Um, how excited are you to just be able to go out there potentially for one last time and make one final run at it? I'm extremely, I'm ecstatic, man. I really, I really have a good feeling about this year, this group, really the whole team. So I, I'm, I'm happy to give it a go. Thank you. No problem. Hey, hey Owen, you guys had such strong leaders last year on the line, Tymir, Jamal, those guys. How, who is taking the role of leadership amongst the guys now? Are you one of those guys that kind of, you know, both on the field and also off the field? Yes, I will consider myself a leader on the field, off the field for, for the D-line. I mean, for the DNs, me and Isaiah, we, are, we have that room, and we're leading those guys because we have the most experience. And for the uh, defensive tackles, I would say that goes into Jamal Woods' area because he's the, the, uh, the guy with the most experience over there in that room. But together, we just, we're all on the one, one page, and when the 23rd comes, I want everything to click. How important is that leadership? You guys saw it last year. You guys got better. How important is it to have those people like yourself kind of showing the guys the, the way to make it happen? 
it was very important, especially when adversity hits and you stand right in the face of it. You got to have that voice or somebody step up and say, it's going to be all right, or we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it right. It's very important. Thanks, Owen. No problem. Hey, Owen, hope you're well, man. Um, you've played 38 games at the college level. Um, and some people might think they've seen so much of you or Isaiah that, hey, this is what they are. How do you think you've improved or you're improved going into this, your fourth season? Uh, drastically improved just in the off season, just with my um, my new coach, Coach uh, Lindsey. Everything, I, I feel like my game has took a dramatic jump. And you know what? I know I'm probably doubted. They probably seen me 38 times, and they probably think they they know how a guy is. And the scouting report is probably very bland on me. But you know, they got to play me, so they're gonna see. What What are the things you and Lovey and and, and Coach Lindsay, especially newcomer, uh, have really focused on uh, with you? Whether it's the intricacies of technique or strength, or what What are those things? Probably uh, being more technical, sound. You know, just little details, minor stuff, you know, adding in little stuff. Um, and when it comes to individual or just, you know, just doing extra when it comes to film and learning different stuff and just taking it to the grass, you know. And, and last one for you, Owen, your group, your 2017 class, you guys played early. You got thrown to the fight, right? Um, how do you think that shapes you now? Like, what does that experience do for you personally going into this year? Personally, me, um, I've seen a lot these last four years in the Big Ten. I know what to expect. I know what I'm going to get with each team. I know some of their favorite plays they like to do. And I just feel like there's nobody above us now. Like you said, we came in early. We are the seniors. We are. We've seen a lot of ball. So it's our time. And I just thought of one more. What, what do you think about the possibility of coming back for another year? Is that something you've thought about yet? Uh, yeah, it's been in the back of my mind for sure, uh, no doubt about it. But, but I really, I'm really focused on this 2020 year and making it special for the guys that own this team. Awesome. Thank you, Owen. No problem. Hey, Owen, I had a, a quick one for you. A lot of uncertainty leading up to this season. Just announced that you guys are going to be starting on Friday instead of Saturday. Just how exciting is it to get that first game a day earlier since it's already been uh, been delayed a little bit? Uh, very, very happy to get that that news today after practice. Actually, I think most of the team was already prepared for that because when the Big Ten first released the schedule, we were uh, set to open up the uh, the Big Ten against O State. So we really already had the mindset that we we're going to open the show, whether it was on Friday or Saturday, because uh, we have a lot of a lot of things coming this year here in Champaign. And getting that opener against Wisconsin, that game that really kind of turned things around for you guys last year, what's your guys' kind of thought heading into that matchup against the Badgers? Oh, um, we're probably going to get their best punch. It's going to be packed. Um, as far as they, it's going to it's going to mean a lot to them as much as it does to us and our program. Because, you know, people could say we pulled off a fluke. It was an upset. But – uh. I believe we forced about two to three turnovers that game. So we're looking to do the same thing again and, you know, really prove that it wasn't a fluke, that we are a good, solid team. Thanks, Owen. No problem. I got one more, Owen. Uh, last year when you guys beat Wisconsin, where were you when James made the kick? Would you remember what you were doing? How were you set up? You know, what did you do? Did you close your eyes? Tell me what you did. I think I was um, – well, the D-line is back. So, I think I was in a probably in a, a squatting stance, probably with my hands together, just hoping he makes it. And uh, I think at the last second I looked away and I, I just heard the crowd roar and I just – just lit up. And we rushed it. That was, that's a feeling like no other. You know, growing up, seeing a lot of upsets, and it was just – I was happy to finally be a part of one in history. Were you one of the guys squeezing uh, James to the ground, or are you trying to help him up? I was trying to help him up. It was actually a lot going on. People pulling me left and right. It was – that experience is like no other. Thanks, Owen. No problem. Owen, what were you 
what were you able to do during the COVID lockdown? I mean, did you have access to a gym or anything? Did you get creative? What What did you do to to kind of stay ready? Um, half the time I was in Champaign, the other, the other half I was back in South Florida. But um, when I was here, I would run two miles a day and um, I would try to do some calisthenics. You know, that's really most mostly what I can do, just try to stay in shape, you know. And when I went back home, um, some fields were open and um, I would get me, me and my other friends from other colleges from uh, the area, we would go and work out and work on technique stuff. So I, I think I, I think I stayed busy. I think I did a great job of staying busy during the quarantine and not really letting my body get affected by all of it. Did you have the same two mile path in Champaign every day or did you mix it up? I mixed it up. Uh, sometimes I would hit Prospect, sometimes I run on Green Street. Um, I even had a park in Urbana. I can't think of the name. I can think of the name, but it's by the Aquatic Center. I ran that trail over there. So I just try to really explore the city. I mean, the campus. Thanks, Owen. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Oh, and I had one more. You said it, and some of your classmates have said it, that you feel like this could be a special fall season, even if it's shortened. Um, what, what gives you guys that, that sense of confidence inside the program? Man, I just, we just, we have a big chip on our shoulder. We know what we're capable of on all positions. We know that in every room, we have a dog in every room. And the ones behind us has got, got the same mentality. So we just feel like it's our time. You know, we had our rough patches in 2017 when there was, at a time, 10 freshmen on the field. And you know, it's, it's our time to be the bully now. And that's, I just feel like we're going to seize the opportunity and take advantage of this moment, this season, I say. Great. Thanks, Owen. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Owen. Thank you, Owen. Thanks, Owen. Thank you, Owen. Appreciate it.